welcome back to another vlog. I hope you can hear me. There's quite a few cars about. It's very early in the morning. It's Saturday. It's not even gone. It's, it's the back at eight. Twenty we, past eight. Twenty past eight. We were up bright and early this morning um, to come into town to go along to John Lewis. We were kindly invited along to their sort of influencer Christmas event in October. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm all I'm all about the Christmas spirit. So we're getting to what learn about the best way to decorate oh. your tree, I think. The They're gonna way. show us how like to decorate your tree the John Lewis way. Well there you go. <laughs> um so yeah that's what we were away to do today. I think we'll get a little treat from the cafe. But yeah I'll we'll take I'll take you with me on my first Christmas thing of the year. Buzzed! <laughs> it gives us some sort of excitement. I know. I mean, I'm gonna be in a new place this Christmas. I'm actually gonna have my first Christmas tree this year. Yay! So, so this is perfect for Holly. <laughs> and I'm all about Christmas trees. I love decorating my Christmas tree, so. And my mum's Christmas trees are always immaculate. Yeah. So I need to learn the skills so that I can beat her. <laughs> should have taken your mum. She would have such a field day today. I don't know if that would be allowed, though, would it? Like, with all these restrictions, I don't even know how this event's gonna work because technically, we too close. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to, st all the people are gonna have to stay apart. Okay. Get masks out. Okay, um, we see the people, so I'm gonna leave you for now. I'll take you along, but. rundown of uh, what actually happened today. So I'm now home. Me and Holly went along to the John Lewis Christmas showcase. So there was a few of us were invited along, all within the restrictions, uh, face masks on the whole time. There was a very small group of us. A couple of the ladies that work at John Lewis took us around their Christmas tree display, showed us the different collections um, that they've got at the moment. So John Lewis have gone with a art movement sort of theme. So there was art movements from throughout time, impressionism, there was post-impressionism, art of Japan, which I really liked. It was very quirky. I don't know if I'd have it on a tree myself, but if you were like unique sort of fun pieces, playful pieces, then that's a really good one to check out. They had like bits of sushi, ramen, um, they had little like dolls and um, lucky cats and all that sort of things that are just tie in, cherry blossom baubles everything red it was just it was really nice i liked it but it's personally not something i would choose myself i'm very fussy with my tree i've got to admit um but if you're the type of person that likes all the fun stuff on their tree colorful that might be one to look out for um impressionism was very much white glass baubles very delicate really really pretty a lot of lovely baubles there a lot i would pick out for myself renaissance so it was all like pinks like baby pinks pastel type tones, um, fairies, and unicorns, and very whimsical. Again, some really pretty bits and bobs. And um, personally, not my style, but you could, I could appreciate it. I could see why people would want that on their tree. Then we had the post impressionism, which was really cool. It was all like animals, um, wildlife. So we had tigers. There was monkeys, birds, butterflies, greens, blues, like all that bright fun jungle colours. 
I like that one. There were some very, very nice pieces in there and some that I definitely, if I had that sort of color scheme for my Christmas tree, I would have picked up because it was, it was good fun. Then we had pop art. So pop art had lots of like colorful, vibrant pieces. You had an art palette with like paints on it. You had like crayons, you had balloon dogs, like balloon animal dogs. You had just fun, vibrant, wacky sort of in your face colors and baubles, which was really it's just, you know, it's, it's very much like it'd be good for a kid's room if you maybe had your a kid had your little Christmas tree or you let your kid cr decorate the Christmas tree and they want to pick out some baubles. There would definitely be ones in there that they would love. There was dinosaurs, like all that fun stuff. That was a really cool one as well. And then you had Bloomsbury as well. Very much your dual tones. You had oranges, like burnt oranges, dark greens, blues, purples, that very like royal colours that made it look quite rich and how people signified wealth back in the day. And that was the kind of the kind of tones for that one. Again, some really lovely pieces in there. Um, and then there was Art Nouveau, which was a gold Christmas tree um, with gold, black and blue baubles. And we actually got at the end to pick out um, a bauble each. So I'll show you the one that I picked up. So I actually picked up a piece from the Art Nouveau collection. I love golds, like my Christmas tree is very much gold baubles, white baubles, like wooden baubles. So this one doesn't, it doesn't go completely, but I am gonna add be adding greens into my living room, like with pillows and things. So this is the one I picked up. How gorgeous is that? But it's got the peacock feather on it, which as you can, yeah, very Art Nouveau. I love it so much. This was. £10 if you want to go and get it. Oh, I'm pretty sure these are handmade, handmade glass baubles with the delicate feather design which is like made out of lace and sequins and glitter. God, I love it. <laughs> Can't wait to hang that on my tree. I just hope my puppy doesn't knock it off. So thank you very much John Lewis for that lovely piece. I am very content with that. We also got given some samples. So I've got some perfume samples, some cream samples that will keep me going for a little while. So that is great. And then we got treated to a nice scone and coffee um, in the cafe as well, which the scone was so good. Go John Lewis for a scone and clotted cream. Beautiful. That was the event. So it was nice to meet everyone there. Um, it was actually a different group that I'm used to. So it was nice to meet some new faces and uh, meet the John Lewis team. Um, hopefully they'll have some other events like that soon because it was good fun. It was nice to get out again and experience something different. I've had, well, wouldn't have had an event since, I think my last event would have been Aberdeen Restaurant Week and I think that was back in like February maybe? Or was it even last year? February? January? It was very early on and I've obviously, because of coronavirus, nothing's happened. So it's nice that places are starting to have their events again. Then we went out for some food. So we finished off our little our little day out um, at Cafe Ahoy, which is near the beach in Aberdeen. And we treated ourselves to a burger, which it's been a very healthy day. Scone for breakfast, burger for lunch. Well, I wonder what I'm gonna have for tea. The burger was really nice as well. So that's definitely filled a hole. And now I'm gonna go play with my dog. What have you guys been up to on this lovely day? It has been very dreek in Aberdeen today. Um, it has non-stop rained and it's heavy rain as well. And I think it's gonna be like this for at least a week. So there won't be that many exciting excursions this week, I'm afraid. I don't even know if I'll get a good dog walk this week, but I'm glad I had the John Lewis event to show you. But psst, there's gonna be lots of exciting stuff soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Okay, okay. But yeah, I'll tell you all about it later. But yeah, I'm going to go play with my doggy now. Hello. Hello. You said hello. And if people want to see you, but... Anyways, hello. So today it's um it's now Tuesday and I thought I'd just give you a little update on the rest of the weekend. So you'll have seen Saturday and um, Sunday. We just ended up going around some of the housey shops and um, like all the sofa places and bits and bobs like that. But that... Well, that was just, you know, for a browse really. No particular reason at all. No particular reason. 
um weekend flew by it was over in no time back to back to work almost halfway through the week already thank goodness I'm ready for the weekend i won't lie but tonight i am a way out with puppy and ailey we are going out for dog walks i think we're gonna go down to like the river beside danston puppy's never been there before so that's exciting for him look at him he's so cute um but yeah let's let's go and meet ailey for a little stroll on a tuesday evening are you excited pup I'll take that as a yes. So I'm just back from my walk with Ailey. That was so lovely. We went for a walk down by the river in like Danston sort of area and like through Granham and that was really nice. The puppy had never been there before so he really enjoyed himself. He was um, very excitable. He bumped into like a meet of dogs. There were probably like 10, 11, 12 dogs there and he was having a blast. So he had a great time. We had a great time and that was a really nice way to have end of Tuesday. And on that note, I'm gonna finish this vlog here and pick it up again the next time I do something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.